Get ready with me to go to the gym. For all the negative people come in my comments saying, why are you wearing makeup to the gym? Because I'm hot. I'm mostly doing this because I saw a really hot man at my gym and I keep showing up looking like the fucking monster under the bed. So I feel like I just need to be like ever so slightly cuter just in case the opportunity arises to speak to him. Also here come all the comments saying, I thought you were a lesbian. I am not a lesbian, I am pansexual. Recently I got back into my weightlifting era. It's just such a fun way to get all of your aggression out. I want to look happy because I'm not <laughs> this brush is so disgusting but whatever oh i'm gonna sweat all this off anyway so i guess it doesn't really matter where i sat cute like betty cooper whenever i put my hair into a ponytail i just got this little perfume from who is elijah it's called nomad and it smells so good shout out to the time i used to do my freckles with a brow pencil and it literally just looked like i had fucking skid marks on my face always lastly i have a little cherry colored lip balm from burt's bees am i one of the dark cherry girlies play i'm gonna go be so sexy at the gym bye I just decided that I hated all of my clothing, so I bought a bunch of stuff from Princess Polly. Let's do a try on haul, and no, I am not naked. Actually, the dress that I currently have on is from this haul. Ah. Whoa. I really like it. I'm just built like a rectangle, so it kind of throws me off. I also got this green dress, which is super cute, but I will not be moving my hands because I'm not doing that for free. I'm just kidding. You're literally never gonna see that. I feel like a flower girl about to walk down the aisle. I look like I'm going on a very sweet, wholesome picnic. This shirt looks a little bit boring from the front, but from the back, it's a party. I also realized that I didn't own a single vest, so I had to get one. Honestly, I kind of like these two together. This skirt makes me feel like a little Polly Pocket. I can do it. I can do it. Oh my god, I did it. Okay, but why does it fit perfectly now that it's actually over my legs? I need my mini skirts to be the size of a belt. I got a blazer because I did not own any basic pieces at all. Cute. I kind of look like I went into my dad's suit closet, but that's okay. I also got a three-piece set, but I already wore it, so I'm just gonna insert a picture of it now. Slay! Okay, bye! Sweetheart, did you get a hair strand yet? Nope, I don't have anything. I just hope you're not one of those supernatural freaks. Anyway, should I wear the Chanel or the Prada purse? The Chanel bag would look great with your outfit. Hey guys, where's Jessica? She got supernatural, so we kicked her out of the group. Yeah, she's over there by the trash now. That's a little brutal, don't you think? Supernaturals don't belong with us ordinary people. Would you guys excuse me for one second? I have to go put lip gloss on. Of course. Jessica, I need to show you something, but you cannot freak out, okay? Okay, I won't. Look. Is that pink? Dude, keep your voice down. Sorry, but what does it mean? I don't know, and I haven't seen anyone else who has pink. I bet that Griffin would know. I'm not talking to him. That kid is a freak. A smart freak. Let's go. Halt! Who art thou and what do thou want? We just have a question. We just want to know why I got a pink strand. Oh my god, I've read about this, but I didn't think it was true. Didn't think what was true. I can take your order when you're ready. Can I just get a number six? Of course. Is that all? Yeah. Uh, we give out a free dum-dum with each order. Thanks. Hey, what can I- Wait, weren't you here yesterday too? You remember me? I don't think I could forget. Let me guess, you want to get a number six. How did you know? I have no idea. It must have been <laughs> luck. And here's your dum-dum. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, look, it's my favorite customer. Stop, you're making me blush. So, what's your name? If you don't mind that I'm asking. It's Bailey. I don't mind. My name's Lucas. You should try the number one instead. It's my favorite. You know what? Sure. Enjoy the dum-dum and have a good day. You too. I can help who's next. Oh, hi. Where's Lucas? He moved to a different location. He doesn't work here anymore. Um, do you think you could tell me the new location that he works at? No, I can't disclose that information. Sorry. Could you move if you don't mind? There's people in line behind you. Wait, but what about the free dum-dum with each order? I'm sorry, we don't do that here. I'm never gonna be able to find him again. There's like 300 locations just in my area. Are you excited to start your new job today? Yes, I can't wait to meet everyone. You'll be amazing, don't worry. Thanks. Hi everyone, welcome to your first day on the job. I'll give you guys a few minutes to get to know your coworkers. Um, excuse me, have we met before? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I'm sorry, it's just that you look really familiar for some reason. Maybe we met before or something. Well, anyway, my name is Bailey. I go by my middle name, Will. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, everybody, it's time to get started with the work day. See you later. Yeah, of course. Whoa, did you design that by yourself? Uh, yeah, I did. It's beautiful. You have a lot of talent. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now that I think of it, I definitely remember you from somewhere. 
I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. Hopefully. This is going to bother me for the rest of the day. We were lucky enough today to get a catered lunch for every single one of you. <gasps> they have dum-dums. <laughs> uh, Bailey, is something wrong? Lucas? Sis, I swear, if you make the bathroom smell that bad again... Okay, sorry, I won't. Everyone can't see me or everyone can't hear me. I feel like I could use being invisible for a day. I am so glad Bailey's not here today. I genuinely hate her. Me too. She's so annoying. Fake ass bitch. Why is there a dick on your face? What? What do you mean? Class, settle down and get that off of your face. Ass hat. Hey, who said that? Mary. Huh? What? The answer is 76. Where is that voice coming from? I'm a genie and I'm going to get you 100% on this test. Really? Thank you so much. Do people still feel if I hit them? Ow, what the fuck? Quiet, we're testing. Marissa, why did you answer in the shape of a Christmas tree? Because the magic genie told me to do it this way. <laughs> wow, okay, how about we take you to get some help? Hey, sis. Oh my god, what is that smell? That McDonald's bag has been in here since like 2012. I think that just burned all the hair off the inside of my nose. Yes, I was not done being invisible. Bro, I just matched with the finest girl on Tinder. Does your girlfriend Bailey know that? No, of course not. Dude, why would you pour that on me? It looks like I pissed my pants. <laughs> it wasn't me. Where did that laugh come from? I can't believe the teacher thought I was crazy yesterday. The genie was real. <laughs> Ow, bitch. Why would you push me? I didn't push you. You little bitch. All right, everyone. Today, we will be having a pop quiz. Everyone, please take out a pencil and... Okay, who did that? It's not funny. No one's by the light switch. We have a ah! dog. 30 people can't oh die. Oh my gosh, no. I'm too young to die. Reason? Reason of what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. You have to pick the reason you die. I don't want to choose the reason that I die. You have to. We all do. Well, it's definitely not going to be by drowning. I'm going to pick the most painless one that I can. Good luck. I don't think any of the options are good. Murder? Oh my god, that's way worse. No. Can this give me an option that doesn't suck brutally? <laughs> Bailey! Oh, sis, what's wrong? I didn't pick a reason in time, and it picked one for me. What? It picked one for you? Apparently, you only get three choices. I didn't know that. I'm so scared to ever get into a car again. I'm so sorry. Be careful with your choices, okay? I will. Please just give me something painless. Hey, are you okay? No, no, I can't pick that. Maybe I should have accepted the first one that it gave me. What's the reason that it gave you? I can't even say it. If it's that bad, just trust your gut and decline it. But what if it gives me this one? If you decline it, it has to refresh your reason. Okay, I'll decline it. Please don't be bad. What? What is it? It says none. What do you mean that it says none? It just says N.A. What, like you're just never going to die? It just must be some kind of mistake. Maybe it doesn't load right? I don't think there are any mistakes. I don't want to live forever. All of you are going to be gone. I don't think you have another choice. Who is banging on the door right now? Hello? You're under arrest. Under arrest? Under arrest for what? You have the wrong person. Does your reason say none? Um, yeah. Then we have the right person. Come on. Stay right here so we can start questioning. Okay. So, what did you do to be immortal forever? I didn't do anything. I just declined the options I got. Lying is only going to make this harder for both of us. I'm not lying. What did you do to hack into the system? I did not hack the system. I can barely log on to my computer correctly. Ugh, you're a stubborn one, aren't you? I'm not stubborn. I'm just trying to tell you the truth. Are you going to tell us what we need to know or not? I've been telling you the truth this whole time. This is ridiculous. Wait, guys, she is telling the truth. You took the wrong girl. Oh, then we have to wipe her memory. What? How did you only get one brain cell today? <laughs> it's like there's no thoughts in your head. Do you just think of sparkles and rainbows? Yes. Bailey, you got a zero on your test. You just wrote slave for every answer. Mm -hmm. On this one, you didn't even write anything. You just drew a smiley face. You look so pale. Here, put on some blush. 
Um, what are you doing? That is definitely not how you're supposed to use it. It goes on your face. You know what? Yeah, you're doing great, sweetie. Try this lip gloss instead. Okay. No, you just have to twist to open it. None of these things are edible. They're for your face. Not your teeth. You need to wipe that off. Drink this to get it off your teeth. What the fuck? You're supposed to drink it out of the top? Okay, what? Please, please stop doing that. I will be right back. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone. Okay. What? Who gave her a lighter? She lit her hair on fire. You got two brain cells? It doesn't look like the second one is doing much. Hey, Bailey, you have to listen to everything I say today, okay? Okay. Guys, this is my life-size Malibu Barbie doll. Give them away. Whoa. Whoa. She's so cool. Oh my god, I want one. She even has some signature slogans. Roast beef. I don't think that's one of them. How about we try a different phrase? Are you my daddy? Sorry, she must be malfunctioning or something. Let's just try a nice normal one. Boobies. Okay, seriously, what are we, fourth graders? Oh, she can do some tricks too. Show them. Um, why is she making that face? <laughs> Ew, what the fuck? So if she's like a robot doll, she must be smart. What's the capital of the U.S.? Barbie land. Um, no, that's not the capital. Mommy milkers. Why is she looking at me like that? I will kill your entire family. Finally, you got brain cells today. The Eiffel Tower has 1,710 steps. Bitch, what? Watching TV burns 10% more calories than sleeping. Wait a second. Tell me another fun fact. Flamingos can only eat with their heads upside down. You're like a walking encyclopedia. Follow me right now. That sounds delightful. First to guess how many jelly beans are in this Ferrara gets to keep it. So how many jelly beans are inside the car? 1,425,789. That's exactly right. Enjoy your new Ferrari. Wait, can you do my homework too? Done. How did you finish that in two seconds? Huh, what else do you know? A pig's orgasm lasts for 30 minutes. Okay, maybe let's not repeat that one. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? 364. This is so cool. You know everything. Human corpses can continue to move for a year after death. Okay, someone turn her off now. You can't be stupid again today. You have to lead us in the debate. Those seven brain cells better do the work. Bro, she cannot compete. She's as smart as a toenail. Hey, Bailey, what you doing? Magic. Yeah, we're screwed. I'd like both parties to present themselves to everyone. Hi, I enjoy sleeping and eating. Dude, what? This is going to be such an easy win. I love pineapple on pizza. Give me your thoughts on saving the economy. I believe we should replace currency with selfies. Interesting take. How would that work? Sexy selfies are worth more than ugly selfies. Wow, that's brilliant. If you could elect one person to become president, who would it be? Taylor Swift. Good job, that was the only right answer. Bailey has won the debate for her team. This has got to be a prank. Where are the cameras? Oh, of course you would get 69 brain cells. We have to go, come on. Slay. Bailey, you're giving a tour to the freshmen today. Give me one margarita, I'ma open my legs. Let's not encourage the freshmen to do that. Is our tour guide okay? Why is she biting a makeup brush? Carrot and cottage cheese. I'm scared to go to high school because I'm ugly and everyone bullies me. That's so real. Aren't you supposed to tell me it'll be better? Does that mean you think I'm ugly? Duh. What? Duh. You don't have to yell. So, does this school have a mascot? I'm just Ken. Sweet, I want a Mojo Dojo Casa house. Does everyone in high school act like this? Bailey, I'm gonna have to revoke your position as tour guide. This is so sick and fucking twisted! Um, what is that? A crystal. Okay, please leave. I don't wanna go to high school. Did she just dab? Hey, yo, she got the moves. Mom, can you come pick me up? Yes, finally, you're smart again. A cockroach has the ability to live for one year without its head. Okay, anyway, come with me. I have an idea. Welcome to Jeopardy. Today's contestants are Bailey and Steve. What do you call a group of giraffes? What is a tower? Yes, that's correct. What is the largest type of frog? What is a Goliath frog? That is also correct. What is the name of the dragon that helps Mulan? Who is Mushu? Looks like we have a winner. I didn't even get to answer anything. Congratulations, Bailey. You won $2 million. The dollar bill was invented in 1862. Do you know which lottery ticket is the winning one? That one. Oh my God, you're right. We just won the jackpot of $10 million. It's like you're a robot. Scotland chose the unicorn as its national animal. Uh, that's cool, I guess. Humans spend an average of one year on the toilet in their lifetime. Ew! How are you so smart but so stupid at the same time? Fruit Loops are all the same flavor, despite their different colors. What? My whole life has been a lie! Four brain cells? Are you kidding me? You're basically a toddler. Spaghetti. 
This is gonna be a long day. Is there even like a single thought behind those eyes? I smell like beef. Okay, so the answer is no. Bailey, put the fire down right now. Bad, bad girl. Oh my God, please, please do not cry. It's fine, I'm sorry, <laughs> okay? Everyone will need to draw a portrait for their art final. Slay the house down. Everyone, please show me. Uh, Bailey, you literally made handsome Squidward. See. Why don't you try again and just draw the first thing that comes to your mind right now? Murder. Okay, maybe not that. Seriously, how do you even keep getting a lighter? Put it down. Oh, you're smart. Can you please take my midterm for me? I'm gonna fail. In five years, you're gonna start balding. Um, what? How do you know that? I know everything in the universe. Like, you can see into the future? Am I finally gonna get a boyfriend? No, but you will adopt 13 cats. Are you kidding me? I don't wanna die alone. Please tell me that you're lying. I'm incapable of lying. Everyone, I'm selling psychic readings for $20. Am I gonna have my dream job in five years? You'll be living in your parents' basement with a receding hairline. My hairline can't recede, I already have a big forehead. Can you tell me something cool about the future? Taylor Swift will be elected president in 2030. <gasps> Sweet! Tama is my boyfriend! What kind of job am I gonna have? You'll go viral on TikTok for using Gorilla Glue to glue a wig down. Wait, that's such a good idea. It'll stay forever then. What about me? Where will I be? You'll be dead. What? You've got to be kidding. Why would you say that? I'm just kidding. I thought that you couldn't lie. Or am I? Bailey, thank gosh you're here. Is there a tampon in your nose? Take that out right now. Put on this apron and get to work. We need you. cha 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 kong -a. Stop messing around. Put your apron on the right way. Is butter a carb? I'm losing brain cells just talking to you. Hi, can I please get an iced latte? I like apples and bananas. Wow, that's great. Um, are you gonna make my coffee? I don't want that. You just took a sip out of it. Oh, sorry. Dude, what the fuck? Do you guys have any baristas that aren't insane? Could I get a number six, please? Are we even real? Okay, I came here for food, not an existential crisis. Yummy, yummy. Is this a joke? Are you trying to poison me right now? Because I will call corporate on you. Let me speak to your manager. Okay, one second. What are you doing? Hi, I'm the manager. Oh, you think you're so funny, huh? I'm gonna give you guys one star on Yelp. You are acting like a child. <gasps> An ugly, pimply bitch. Hello. Finally, are you gonna be normal today? I'm Peppa Pig. <sighs> and this is Daddy Pig. <sighs> nope, you're still weird. Today, you're babysitting the neighbor kids. You can take a ride on my big green tractor. I feel so sorry for them. Hey, what are you holding? You put this up your... Okay, let's not tell the kids that. Where do babies come from? I don't know. I looked up pictures on Google and it was really scary. What's two plus two? Oh, six. I'm not good at math, but I definitely don't think it's six. Can you get me a drink? I'm thirsty. Um, that's peanut butter. At this point, I feel like I'm babysitting you. Can we play Barbies together? No, no, that is not how you play with a Barbie. You have to be nice to her. Oh my God. Mom, can you please come home right now? I'm so scared. How'd you even get the Barbie to stay like that? Abracadabra. I think your six brain cells are just doing the Cotton Eye Joe in there. Hello, and welcome to your Harvard interview. Hola, me amo Bailey. You're bilingual? That's amazing. I seem to have lost my pen. Do you have one I could borrow? How did you fit a lamp into your bag? You're a wizard, Harry. And you have a sense of humor. Great. You are Kenneth. We love people that support mental health. Tell me something about yourself. Bill, 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 Bill Nye, the science guy. Oh my gosh, I'm a huge Bill Nye fan too. Slugs are just divorced snails. I've never thought about it that way. It's true. Do you have any other talents? I want to ride. I want to ride. Horseback riding. I love it. Of course you do. What is your greatest strength? Gaslighting. Persuasive. We would love to offer you a spot at Harvard in the fall. Do you want to play mermaids? I've been waiting for that question my whole life. I don't exist. Um, what what are you doing? Okay, that might be enough brain cells for you to be normal, right? Karma is my boyfriend! I think you're just weird in general. I'm just Ken. Anywhere else I'd be a ten. Are you just speaking in song lyrics right now? This uh uh sex to die for. Girl, nobody wants to do that with your raggedy, ugly, dusty ass. And I'm sure I've seen much hotter men, but I really can't remember when. Hey, are you calling me ugly right now? I have a whole roster of hoes. Bleeding me dry like a goddamn vampire. Is it illegal to muzzle a person? You're literally a freak. But I'm still shaking ass in the deli. They'd throw your cake out of the bakery. There must be something normal in there. All you ladies pop yo puss. Welcome to cosmetology school. Today you'll be doing an eyeshadow look. Can we use glitter? Sure, you can use whatever you want. Let me see your look. Do you like it? Oh my god. 
What the hell did you do to your face? Picasso, I like it. You know what? Try some eyeliner instead. It fixes everything. Okay. And done. Oh, of course you made it worse. You don't like it? No, no, I love it. Here, how about a lipstick? <laughs> you can use that normally. Oh, come on. You look like a clown. Oops. Why would you ever put that much on? I'm Kylie Jenner. You do not look like Kylie Jenner at all. She is so annoying. Dude, who are you talking to? Next up is hair, okay? Where did you even find a purple wig here? This is my real hair. Don't be jealous. I know for a fact that it's not your real hair. What are you even doing? You know what? You're fired. Fetch. Why are you the only one that's not normal? Every night at 8 p.m., you cried to You Belong With Me by Taylor Swift. How do you know that? I've never told anyone. I know everyone's deepest, darkest secrets. It's just such a good song. If you know secrets, what's mine? You have a foot fetish. What? No, I don't. I don't believe this either. What's my biggest secret? You like to cover yourself in oil and slide around the floors like a penguin. Uh, what? Who would do that? Then why is there baby oil in your backpack? Okay, who put that there? You could have easily made that up. You put peanut butter on your put- No, no, do not finish that. And you let the dog lick it off. Ew. Ew. What a freak. Ew. I don't think I do anything that weird. Your guilty pleasure is to lick the floor of gas station bathrooms. I would never do something like that. I found a videotape of you doing it four hours ago. What? Where? Who would like to see? Me! Oh, I have to see this. You can't read me because I don't have any secrets. You killed both of your parents. Yeah, and you're next. The police are on their way. Hey, bitch. You're afraid of trees. I don't like the texture of bark. What, today you know everyone's fears instead of secrets? Yes, I know what everyone fears. I think that we could use this. Okay. What's Marissa afraid of? Cockroaches. Aw, uh, basic, just like her. Oh my god, who filled my locker with cockroaches? What is wrong with you? That's not very nice. She slept with my boyfriend while we were together. Oh. How about Mr. Michaels? He's afraid of his wife leaving him. I don't know why she hasn't yet. Back me up, okay? Mr. Michaels, I swear I just saw your wife making out with the PE teacher. Yes, I saw that too. No, how could she do this to me? I have to go see her right now. I feel like you are using me. What? No, I'm not. Here, have a lollipop. This is a tampon. Close enough. Whatever. Suck on it. What's my ex afraid of? You. Oh, haha. Ha, you're so funny. Don't lie. I do not have the ability to lie. Babe, let's just get back together. I'm sorry I smashed your car windows. What's your weird quirk today? You're going to die in a plane accident. What? Why would you say that? You'll be sitting in seat 32A and you will get sucked out the side of the plane. What the hell? I am never going on a plane ever again. Oh, good morning, Bailey. Welcome to class. Your wife is going to murder you after you cheat on her. I am not cheating on my wife. How dare you? Yes, you are. And with a student. How do you know that? Which one of you sluts is sleeping with the teacher? Dude, why are you being so weird? You're gonna die by falling off of a cliff. That doesn't sound like me at all. You hung onto the ledge to try to look cool, but you actually fell. Oh, yeah, that does sound a lot like me. Are you feeling all right? You'll die by drowning inside of a kiddie pool. Huh? That's so embarrassing. How much water was in the pool? It was only five inches of water. I'm such a loser. If you know how people die, what about me? I'm not picking anything up from you. Because I'm a vampire and I'm gonna live forever. <sighs> Ugh, my mouth tastes like salmon. Who eats fish for breakfast? Oh my god, I don't think that's fair. Why are you chugging water like a toddler? Are you okay? No! I think my soulmate's doing something that I really don't want to be a part of. What could they possibly be doing? Never mind. I thought this was cherry. Why does it taste alcoholic? Who does shots at 2 p.m., bro? Get a grip! <coughs> oh my god. Please don't tell me that was the devil's lettuce. Is my soulmate Chuck Bass? I'm so confused. Your soulmate is really putting you through it, huh? I am going through it, and I'm afraid of what's next. My soulmate just ate mochi. It was so good. Oh, this one's really weird. It tastes like, um, like metal a little bit. Why would they eat metal? Oh my god! Sis, did you forget to flush the toilet again? It stinks! She's not even home. What is that? Do they live on a farm? Oh, why does it smell like that? I'm just gonna do this for the rest of the day. Hey guys, what's up? Dude, why are you plugging your nose like that? You don't wanna know. You can't just hold your nose for the rest of the day. Yes, I can, and I will. I won't talk to you if you keep doing that. Ugh. I regretted that immediately. What are you freaking out about? It smells like pee. 
It's not your soulmate's fault. They're probably just walking outside. But I have to deal with it too. Not the fish again. Oh, I know what they're doing. They're a freak. What the? F I can't do this anymore. Ah, why is it spicy? You are being so dramatic. I'm going to throw up. Headphones? What? I don't want these. Wait, did these let me hear what my soulmate is hearing? I love being nosy. The total today for your hemorrhoid cream is 100. I don't think I was supposed to hear that conversation. Maybe it'll be better this time. Bro, did you ever get that crazy rash on your ass figured out? I think I'm gonna put these away. My soulmate was looking at engagement rings for me. An engagement ring? But you haven't even met yet. I heard him tell the seller he was buying it for his soulmate. So has your soulmate said anything fun? I don't know, I haven't put them on yet. Are you crazy? Put them on right now. Mm. You have to hear what they're doing. Okay. Oh yeah, baby, that's the spot. Ah! What, what were they saying? Is it bad? I gotta go, I'm gonna go wash out my ears with bleach. You have to keep blinking. Girl, I'm trying, I'm kind of forgetting how to blink. What? How many did you get? Two. You cannot let them run out. Okay. Hey Bailey, look at me. No. Why, you're just staring at the wall. I know you're gonna make me try to blink and I literally have two, so don't do it. Class, today for home ec, we're going to be cutting up some onions. Are you kidding me? Can I opt out of this activity? No, it's a mandatory grade. I feel sick. Ugh. Ugh, fine. Okay, thank you. Honey, what's wrong? You look like a deer in headlights. You need to take some eye drops. I can't take eye drops. Those will make me blink. Your eyes are irritated. You need to. <laughs> hey, wait. I'll give you some blinks. I have a lot. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Okay, I think they're transferring right now. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh, you're a lifesaver. Does this mean I can get your number now? That was fast and forward. Why are you still making that face? What face? Shocked? You have blinks. Oh, I forgot. You almost ran out of blinks. Be careful. Oh, it's fine. No one even knows what happens when you run out. Um, I do. You die. What? I cannot believe that you didn't know. How do you know that? I thought it was obvious that everyone knew. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't run out of blinks. You're freaking me out. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Guys, what's going on in here? Billy's about to use all of his blinks at once. Stop! Don't do it! Boo! Annoying bitch. If you run out of blinks, you die. Ah! What? I only have five blinks left! Wait, guys, don't panic. Everyone calm down, crying will use up your blinks. Uh-oh. Oh, we're all gonna die! Guys, please, there must be another way we can just not blink. What if everyone just kept their eyes closed? How is everyone gonna see if our eyes are shut? It's better than totally running out of blinks. There is no way this is gonna work. Okay, open your eyes. How many blinks did you lose? It only went down one. That means it works. Everybody, close your eyes. Everyone's just gonna start running into the walls. Well, it's better than everybody dying, huh? I guess so. I think that it's this way. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Everyone, we need your attention now. I wonder what this is about. You don't die when you run out of blinks. You just can't see. So you're a liar? What? No, I didn't know. But you told me that... Haha, <laughs> sorry I lied. April Fools? It's not even April! Get her! Guys, please, it was a mistake. And that's why I think Grimace should run for president. That was the stupidest shit I've ever heard. Everyone bullies me or everyone flirts with me. Honestly, I want to know what they have to say about me. Hey, do you have a pencil I could borrow? Yeah, you can take this one and shove it right up your ass, you dumb fucking bitch. Okay, thanks. I've literally seen toes that are prettier than you. Toes don't even have a face. Yeah, exactly. Have you ever thought about the world ending? Uh, no. If we were the last two people on Earth and had to repopulate, I would just let everyone die instead. I gotta give it to them. They're definitely clever. Hey, I heard you've been making music. Yeah, I have. It was so bad, it made me want to rip my ears off of my head and put them into a blender. Hey, Bailey. What? You should put this brown paper bag on your head so we don't have to look at your ugly face anymore. Dude, I got tickets to a rock concert tonight. Wanna come with? I don't know. Rock music isn't really my thing. Ugh, no wonder your innocence is 100%.
Wait, I'll come with you. <gasps> Great, but you're not wearing that. My outfit is fine. I like being comfortable. <laughs> you're gonna regret that. Tickets, please. Oh, honey, Disney on Ice is next door. Actually, I'm here for the rock concert. Oh, okay, then go ahead. You sure you don't want the outfit? Give it to me. You look so cool. And where did you get the boobs? Shut up. Jessica, I didn't know that you were coming. Oh my god, hey guys. Lucky you, we have two extra backstage passes. Do you want them? We'll take them. Come on, guys, let's meet the band. Uh, excuse me, miss. Hmm? I think that you dropped this. Oh, uh, thank you. Dude, that was the lead singer of the band. What does the paper say? It has a phone number and it says, call me for a good time. Dude, you have to call him. No way, that's out of my comfort zone. Ugh, no wonder your score is so high. You're no fun. Come on, let's just go watch the show. Wait, guys. I can't call him because I'm a virgin. What? We can't hear what you're saying. I'm a virgin. Yeah, no shit. We could have guessed that ourselves. You never know. Maybe he doesn't want to hook up with you. He wrote call me for a good time. What else does that mean? Either you call him or I'll do it for you. Fine, I'll call him after the show. Thank you guys so much for the support. Have a great night. Don't look at me like that. I'm gonna call him. Hello? Who is this? Uh, hi, this is the girl from backstage. Oh, good. I was hoping that you would call. Come meet me in my dressing room backstage. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, hey, come on in. I wanted to talk to you. Hi, what's up? So, have you ever thought about becoming a singer before? I, I mean, I was in chorus, but not really. Our lead singer had a family emergency, and she's going to be gone for three weeks. Hang on a minute. Are you asking me to be in the band? Kinda. I want you to come to our tryouts later this week. Your style's cool. I think you'd make a great addition. Okay, maybe I will. Bro! Oh, were you guys eavesdropping? Yeah, we had to. You are definitely trying out. Guys, I don't even know if I can sing or not. Do you want to get your innocence score lower or not? Guys, I can't sing this song. This has a bad word in it. You're not a toddler. You can swear. You're freaking out about nothing. That was so good. Okay, I guess the worst they can say is no. Okay, this is actually happening. I'm really scared. You practice for this. You're going to be just fine. Next in line for auditions, please. Wish me luck. Hey, who's that girl over there? Oh, her? We call her Silent Beauty. She can't say anything. Why don't we go say hi? No, you cannot be seen with her. Whatever, guys. Hey, uh, my name's Ethan. I really like your hair. You remind me of the purple Teletubby. So, let me guess, you don't have any words. Uh, don't worry, I can speak for you then. Oh, hell no, you did not bring her over here. She is not sitting with us. Why not? She's cool. No, she's not. She's just a weirdo. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't leave. I'll come sit with just you instead, not them. I just wish you could speak up for yourself. She's awful. You're the only person who's ever been nice to me. Whoa, what? You can speak? I thought you had zero words. No, I have infinite. What? You have infinite words? But everyone thinks you can't speak. I convinced everybody that I didn't have any words, but I do. But why won't you talk to anyone if you have words? Do you see how mean they are? I've been recording them. Recording them? What are you gonna do with it? Don't worry about it. How long have you been doing this? It started freshman year. I decided I was not gonna speak at all. And no one ever figured you out? Nope, they're kinda dumb. You can't tell anyone that I can actually speak, okay? I promise I am not going to. Do you want to help me expose them? Expose them like how? I know all their secrets because they think I can't tell anybody. Would we be like Bonnie and Clyde then? Yeah, I guess you could say that. This sounds like fun. Deal. Deal. Wait, what even is your name? It's Bailey. That's pretty. How are we going to do this? Don't worry. I already have it figured out. Ew, what is on your face? What? What do you mean? Look at yourself. What is that? Your hand must have slipped while you did eyeliner. I didn't do it. Why would I mess up my nose contour like this? Okay, guys, let's not fight. Your soulmate probably did it. What, did they draw on me in my sleep? No, whatever your soulmate draws on themselves shows up on you too. And done. Dude, why would you do that? It looks so bad. It was already bad. 
Hey, Bailey, nice butt chin. What? I do not have a butt chin. You literally have a butt drawn on your chin. Oh, this means war. Let's see how they like that. You spelled regrets wrong. I did. Bailey, what is on your face? Go to the office now. But I didn't even do it. Oh, don't worry. Your counterpart's in the office already. Okay, I'll go. $20 to me or my mom. I don't really need it right now, so maybe she can use it. Hey, that bracelet is so cute. When did you get it? Oh, I used the $20 that I got this morning to go and buy it. What did you get? I gave my $20 to my mom, so nothing. That's cute or whatever, but I needed this bracelet. Do you see how cute it is? A new car? What? Well, if I give it to my mom, she'll probably just give me her old one, so... Dude, there is no way you gave that one to your mom, too. I'm gonna get a G-Wagon for my car. <sighs> Wait, why aren't you taking any of them for yourself? I don't know. I'm happy with what I have, so it's fine. Okay, you are insane if you give this one to your mom, too. Well, I'm probably still gonna live with her anyway, so it's our house. You have fun with that? I'm gonna go live in a mansion, okay? I just know you're gonna <laughs> regret that. Ooh, I could get a mansion on the beach. Um, did you just get another one, too? Um, no, I only got the three questions before. I think I just got $10 million. Um, what? What do you mean? It just says plus $10 million. Dude, what? You are so lucky. You have to give me some of that. You can have some. I can't keep it all, but I have to tell my mom. Why do you give everything to your mom? You should keep it for yourself instead. Maybe I want to, okay? I love her. I want some of the money, too. Yeah, you better give me some for lunch. Me, too. Um, I have to go. Honey, I'm sorry, but there's leftovers in the fridge for dinner. I didn't have enough money for a new meal tonight. You don't need to worry about it anymore. Why? What are you talking about? Check the bank account. How many zeros is that? $10 million? Where did you get all of this from? Thank you so much. This is going to change our lives. I love you. You guys need to give me all of the money right now. Whoa, hang on a second. You need to transfer all $10 million into my account by the end of the day or else. Save my mom or save all the money. You have to keep all the money, sweetheart. It'll change your life. No, mom, I can't do that to you. At least I would die knowing that you'll stay happy. I'm sorry, we can find money another way. No way, you actually just gave me all of the money. See you later, suckers. I can't believe you just did that for me. I love you. Of course, I love you. We need to find some other way to make money. I'll get a second job. It'll be fine. I'll be happy with anything as long as it's with you. Me too. Bailey, I heard a rumor that you actually lost all the money. Yeah, it's true. I bet you're so jealous now that you have nothing. I have such a nice car and a house. Whatever. You are just so dumb. I would have saved all the money over my mom. You know what? Even if I did have the money, I wouldn't have given any of it to you. Why? What? You said that you would. You're just kind of a bitch. Um, excuse me? 7-1? Uh, what, is my soulmate Bigfoot or something? Man's is like a walking skyscraper. My soulmate's only 5-4! Aw, uh, short king. No, it's not cute. Why not? All of my kids are gonna be so short. <laughs> well, it's better than the ugly gene that you're gonna give them. <gasps> I am not ugly! Um, who are you looking for? My soulmate. That's how you're gonna find him? You know, I don't think I could miss him. He is 7'1". That is so funny considering you're like 4'11", right? Okay, first of all, I'm 5'2". Thank you. Maybe he's like an NBA player. I really hope so. Bro, are you drinking from a salsa jar? 7'1's not like that tall, right? Are you dumb? That's really tall. <laughs> What's with all the commotion? Dude, there's a guy in the hall that literally looks like Slenderman. My soulmate! Excuse me, sorry, excuse me, I need to get through. We all want to talk to him, wait your turn. He's definitely not going to talk to you when you look like Shrek. What? Shrek? <sighs> Bro, he's literally built like the Eiffel Tower. Well, how tall do you think he actually is? It's got to be over seven feet. Can y'all stop shoving me like this is the Hunger Games? It's a dude! Wow, wow, wow. These girls are going feral for him. I'm not going to be able to get to him. Um, I think I know how we can. How? Here, get onto my shoulders. <laughs> okay. Are you sure this is safe? Nope, not at all. Okay. Hey, moving skyscraper, wait up. Hey, Bailey, how's the weather up there? Shut up. Sir, hi, how tall are you? Um, 7'3". Ugh. What? Do you have something against tall guys? Oh, I'm sorry. That just means that you're not my soulmate. How tall's your soulmate? 7'1". Oh, my brother's 7'1". A brother? 
So where's your brother at? Um, I don't know. He didn't come with me. What do you mean you don't know? It's like urgent. Why do you care so much about where my brother is? Uh, hard to explain. You are so weird. I'm out. Uh, wait, please. Bro, no, you're freaking me out. Can you just leave me alone? Okay, I'm sorry. So, do you want to get down or... Yes, I want to get off your shoulders. Whatever, he looked like a grasshopper and his brother probably does too. You're just mad he didn't like you. Do you think that the brother goes here too? <laughs> Who knows, but he's 7-1. I'll see him. Yeah, but will he even see you? What do you mean? You're just like so much shorter than him. I've had enough of the short slander. This is so annoying. Oh my god, there's two of them! Two of who? We need to get his attention, now! Throw something at him! Okay! Not a glass! Oh! Bro, are you kidding me? Which one of you just threw a glass at my head? Should we run? Um, I think so. Yeah, okay. You two, stop right there! So are you the one who threw mm -hmm. the glass? Guilty! You need to come with us to the office now! Damn, we got caught! There was like 12 witnesses! Thanks to you, he now has a concussion. He has a concussion? I just wanted to get his attention. So you throw the most dangerous thing you could find. It seemed like a better idea at the time. Wait, are you the girl who's been harassing my brother? Ah, uh, no, it wasn't me. Who else would have purple hair? Shit. Could you just tell me why you did it? Because I needed to talk to you. To me? About what? How tall is your soulmate? Um, I am not telling you that. Just tell me. It says 5'2". Wait, don't tell me you think that we're soulmates. Surprise! No way, you are not going to be my soulmate. What's that supposed to mean? You are obviously some kind of crazy. I don't like it. That is not true. I told you why I threw the glass. Yeah, but that doesn't justify it. Uh, well... I am so done with this game you're playing, I'm leaving. No, wait! So, um, I don't think he's gonna press charges. He didn't seem very concussed. That's the girl who threw the glass. <gasps> really? Why are y'all whispering about me when I'm right here? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't know you could hear us. Of course I can hear you! It's just embarrassing that you were so desperate for attention. Whatever, it's also embarrassing that your hair looks like that. My hair is $3,000! <laughs> Um, I think that our plan may have backfired a little. Yeah, just like the smallest bit. I know he's my soulmate. I just need a new plan. What? It's not like you can go after his twin. Wait. No, do not tell me that. Hey, you. What? Are you going to throw a glass at my head, too? No. You're going to use me to get my brother. No, that's not what I'm doing at all. I promise. It's clear you're just desperate for a soulmate. No, I was trying to get your attention all along. I just thought you were really cute. Wait, really? Would you want to hang out with me? Yeah, yeah, love to. Here's my number. Thanks. That was, like, suspiciously easy. No, there's got to be a catch, right? There definitely is. He just said that I was harassing him, and he agrees that fast? I don't know. Maybe it's because you're cute. I know. Oh my gosh, what if he, like, murders you or something? Okay, let's not manifest that for me. Thanks. It should be one, four. Yep, this is it. Hey, uh, welcome in. <laughs> Hi. Both of you. Listen, we just have a few things to ask you. So, why are you such a whore? Excuse me? Uh, I'm just messing with you. That's not one of the questions. Okay, not funny, but go on. You need to tell me how tall your best friend is. She's 5'6", why? Because my soulmate is 5'6", too. Don't tell me you think she's your soulmate. She might be if you're my brother's. I already said I don't want you as a soulmate. I don't want you either, Skyscraper. So, can you help me here? No. What? Why not? <laughs> I just don't want to. It's because she's a selfish bitch. Can he leave the room? Because he's really killing the vibes. Yeah, bro, get out of here. Listen, I'll help you get my best friend if you help me get your brother. Ah, okay, I guess I can help you. Fine. Deal. Just don't throw any more glasses at his head. I know, that was a one-time thing, I swear. Hmm, I have an idea. I need to go find my best friend. Can you convince your brother not to hate me? I will try my best. Okay, thanks. Bestie. Hey, what's up? I have some tea. Do you want to hear it? Um, yes, always. 
Do you know that kid who's 7'3"? How could I not? I heard he has a crush on you. Oh, I'm not interested. He's not really my type. What do you mean he's not your type? He's so tall. Yeah, but it's like a little too tall. Didn't you just call your soulmate a walking skyscraper? No, I love men that are two feet taller than me. Right. Just forget it, okay? I don't want him. Wait, please. I'll pay you. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. How much are we talking here? A thousand dollars. Oh, absolutely. I'll do whatever. Yay. Oh, I'm gonna be dirt poor. This is so dumb. He's not my soulmate anyway. Mine's 5'9". Wait, what? 7'1"? What, is my soulmate Bigfoot or something? Man's is like a walking skyscraper. My soulmate's only 5'4". Aw, uh, short king. No, it's not cute. Why not? All of my kids are gonna be so short. <laughs> well, it's better than the ugly gene that you're gonna give them. I am not ugly. Um, who are you looking for? My soulmate. That's how you're gonna find him? You know, I don't think I could miss him. He is 7'1". That is so funny considering you're like 4'11", right? Okay, first of all, I'm 5'2". Thank you. Maybe he's like an NBA player. I really hope so. Bro, are you drinking from a salsa jar? 7'1's not like that tall, right? Are you dumb? That's really tall. What's with all the commotion? Dude, there's a guy in the hall that literally looks like Slender Man. My soulmate! Excuse me, sorry, excuse me, I need to get through. We all want to talk to him, wait your turn. He's definitely not going to talk to you when you look like Shrek. What? Shrek? Ooh. Bro, he's literally built like the Eiffel Tower. Well, how tall do you think he actually is? It's got to be over seven feet. Can y'all stop shoving me like this is the Hunger Games? It's a dude! Wow, wow, wow. These girls are going feral for him. I'm not going to be able to get to him. Um, I think I know how we can. How? Here, get onto my shoulders. <laughs> okay. Are you sure this is safe? Nope, not at all. Okay. Hey, moving skyscraper, wait up. Hey, Bailey, how's the weather up there? Shut up. Sir, hi, how tall are you? Um, 7'3". Ugh. What, do you have something against tall guys? Oh, I'm sorry. That just means that you're not my soulmate. How tall is your soulmate? 7'1". Oh, my brother, 7'1". A brother? So, where's your brother at? Um, I don't know. He didn't come with me. What do you mean you don't know? It's, like, urgent. Why do you care so much about where my brother is? Uh, hard to explain. You are so weird. I'm out. Uh, wait, please. Bro, no. You're freaking me out. Can you just leave me alone? Okay, I'm sorry. So, do you want to get down, or... Yes, I want to get off your shoulders. Whatever, he looked like a grasshopper, and his brother probably does, too. You're just mad he didn't like you. Do you think that the brother goes here, too? <laughs> Who knows, but he's 7-1. I'll see him. Yeah, but will he even see you? What do you mean? You're just, like, so much shorter than him. I've had enough of the short slander. This is so annoying. Oh, my God, there's two of them! Two of who? We need to get his attention, now! Throw something at him! Okay. Not a glass! Oh! Bro, are you kidding me? Which one of you just threw a glass at my head? Should we run? Um, I think so. Yeah, okay. You two, stop right there! So are you the one who threw the glass? <laughs> Guilty. You need to come with us to the office now. Damn, we got caught. There was like 12 witnesses. Thanks to you, he now has a concussion. He has a concussion? I just wanted to get his attention. So you throw the most dangerous thing you could find. It seemed like a better idea at the time. Wait, are you the girl who's been harassing my brother? Uh, no, it wasn't me. Who else would have purple hair? Shit. Could you just tell me why you did it? Because I needed to talk to you. To me? About what? How tall is your soulmate? Um, I am not telling you that. Just tell me. It says 5'2". Wait, don't tell me you think that we're soulmates. Surprise! No way, you are not going to be my soulmate. What's that supposed to mean? You are obviously some kind of crazy. I don't like it. That is not true. I told you why I threw the glass. Yeah, but that doesn't justify it. Uh, well... I am so done with this game you're playing, I'm leaving. No, wait! So, um, I don't think he's gonna press charges. He didn't seem very concussed. That's the girl who threw the glass. <gasps> really? 
Why are y'all whispering about me when I'm right here? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't know you could hear us. Of course I can hear you! It's just embarrassing that you were so desperate for attention. Whatever, it's also embarrassing that your hair looks like that. My hair is $3,000! Mm. Um, I think that our plan may have backfired a little. Yeah, just like the smallest bit. I know he's my soulmate, I just need a new plan. What? It's not like you can go after his twin. Wait. No, do not tell me that! Hey, you! What, are you gonna throw a glass at my head too? No. You're gonna use me to get my brother. No, that's not what I'm doing at all, I promise. It's clear you're just desperate for a soulmate. No, I was trying to get your attention all along. I just thought you were really cute. Wait, really? Would you want to hang out with me? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to. Here's my number. Thanks. That was like suspiciously easy. No, there's got to be a catch, right? There definitely is. He just said that I was harassing him and he agrees that fast? I don't know. Maybe it's because you're cute. I know. Oh my gosh, what if he, like, murders you or something? Okay, let's not manifest that for me. Thanks. It should be one, four. Yep, this is it. Hey, y'all. Uh, welcome in. <laughs> Hi. Both of you. Listen, we just have a few things to ask you. So, why are you such a whore? Excuse me? Oh, I'm just messing with you. That's not one of the questions. Okay, not funny, but go on. You need to tell me how tall your best friend is. She's 5'6", why? Because my soulmate is 5'6", too. Don't tell me you think she's your soulmate. She might be if you're my brother's. I already said I don't want you as a soulmate. I don't want you either, skyscraper. So, can you help me here? No. What? Why not? I just don't want to. It's because she's a selfish bitch. Can he leave the room? Because he's really killing the vibes. Yeah, bro, get out of here. Listen, I'll help you get my best friend if you help me get your brother. Ah, okay, I guess I can help you. Fine. Deal. Just don't throw any more glasses at his head. I know, that was a one-time thing, I swear. Hmm, I have an idea. I need to go find my best friend. Can you convince your brother not to hate me? I will try my best. Okay, thanks. Bestie. Hey, what's up? I have some tea. Do you want to hear it? Um, yes, always. Do you know that kid who's 7'3"? How could I not? I heard he has a crush on you. Oh, I'm not interested. He's not really my type. What do you mean he's not your type? He's so tall. Yeah, but it's like a little too tall. Didn't you just call your soulmate a walking skyscraper? No, I love men that are two feet taller than me. Right. Just forget it, okay? I don't want him. Wait, please. I'll pay you. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. How much are we talking here? A thousand dollars. Oh, absolutely. I'll do whatever. Yay. Oh, I'm gonna be dirt poor. This is so dumb. He's not my soulmate anyway. Mine's 5'9". Wait, what? Is this some kind of joke? I'm not being called ugly forever. Decline. Sis, I already accepted my name. The first one. Really? What was it? Sandra. Isn't that pretty? Like that girl from Greece? That's so cute. My first one was ugly. Oh, well, you accepted it, right? No, why would I accept it? I mean, it's true. You are ugly. <gasps> Be careful, don't run out of choices. Please, I'm sure the next one's gonna be better than that. Anything is. Another one? Short stuff? I'm not even that short, I'm 5'3". The third one better be good. Hey, Mom, do you know what happens when you run out of name choices? We don't know. Some people think that you die. Oh. Uh, why are you asking? I've already declined two of them. They were terrible. You cannot decline the third one, whatever you do. Please don't be fat. Please. Idiot? My last one cannot be idiot. I can't take that. This name is your final option. You have to accept it. I don't want to be called idiot for the rest of my life. You really don't have a choice at this point. Well, what really happens when you run out of names? No one's ever run out, but you could die. That seems a little dramatic. I don't think you should be the one to find out. I'm gonna do it. Please don't kill me. I'm okay. Good. What happened with your name? Um, hello. What happened to the name? It picked one for me instead. Your reaction's making me think it's not good. It says car accident. 
<laughs> That's not even a name. There's got to be some way I can change that, right? <laughs> not that I know of, car accident. Become nameless. You should just become nameless. I don't know if I want to have no name forever. Well, what is the other option? Being called car accident. There has got to be some way I can change it myself. I know where you can go. Bro, where did you come from? Don't worry about that. You need to go to this address alone. You want me to pull up to a random sketchy address alone? I promise they can change your name for you. Okay, I'll do it. Mm. At the door, the password is cheese. Cheese? Really? Okay. Um, oh. Hello, what's the password? Uh, cheese? Oh, yes, come right this way. So, what do you want? I need to change my name, like, really badly. I can do that, but you're gonna have to pay. Pay, like, how much money? No, not with money. The only way to get a new name is to steal one from someone you know. What? Okay, but if all of us stop paying taxes, they can't arrest everyone, right? No, that's not how that works. So my controls my hands. What does that even mean? Ow! Oh no, I don't like this. Sis, could you hold this for one sec? Sure. Wait, what are you doing? Oh no. Why would you throw that? It had grandma's ashes in it. I am so sorry. Yeah, tell that to grandma. I was on the floor now. Uh, excuse me. Class, who would like to present first? Bailey, great. Go ahead. Great. My project is about... Uh, what are you doing? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> I wish I knew. Seriously, what? Did you just dab? <laughs> Ew. Oh my god, that was the worst thing I've ever done. If you don't present, you'll get a zero in the project. What's happening? Uh-oh. But oh, you just punched me in the face. It wasn't me. You're still holding your hands up like you're going to fight me. You can't take a dog out of somebody's yard. He probably has an owner. <coughs> He's so fluffy, I couldn't resist. Oh, no, not this again. Could I borrow that pink top you have? Meow. The fuck? Meow. You have the humor of a preschooler. You know, hablas inglés. You were just speaking English to me. Puro ir a baño. I have never heard you speak Spanish before. Bailey, do you want to hang later? Howdy, y'all. Would y'all like to sip my moonshine? Uh, what? Let's go down to the creek and do some fishing. You know what? Never mind. Please don't hang out with us. Seriously, what's wrong with you? Ow, 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 ow. Are you, like, possessed or something? <laughs> no! Okay, somebody get this bitch a muzzle. Okay, what is it this time? Whenever a thunderstorm is really scary, you go sleep with your mommy again. What? No, I don't. I have never told anyone that. Don't repeat it. I already put it on Twitter. Oh, of course you did. How did you know that? I know the weirdest thing about everyone. Oh, it's time to expose people. Bailey looking hideous per usual. You have a crush on the red Teletubby. Yeah, and what about it? Red is hot and they're so slim fit. I'm not embarrassed by anything. You fart so badly in your sleep that the rest of your family has to wear a gas mask. Oh, Ew. Is that why it smells so bad gross. in here? Leave my boyfriend alone. You haven't brushed your teeth in five years. I brushed them with Dr. Pepper. You must be a witch to know all of this. You buy used women's underwear off of Craigslist. I get them for a good deal. Are you a psychic or something? When you're low on money, you sell your bathtub water to old men on the internet. You'd be surprised how much money I make. What about me? What do you got? You have a crush on your sister. Uh, she's my stepsister. Blood related. Sweet Ew. home, what Alabama. Why are you so weird? The last thing you searched was how to tell if you're pregnant. <gasps> Don't tell anyone that. I was just paranoid, okay? Today she's Google, apparently. Right, I don't believe that. The last thing you looked up was, is this a rash or an STD? My balls were red and itchy. I had to find out. I still don't believe you. What did I search yesterday? You searched up, is it illegal to have a crush on your own mom? Ew, is your mom the one who gave you the rash? No, no. Hey, what about me? You looked up, why am I attracted to my own dog? No, I didn't. That was a typo. I knew you looked at that dog weird. She's just making these up. The last thing you searched was porn. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Hub. Ew, Ew. Whoa. what a freak. Is that why you were in the bathroom Ew, during so the long? school day? Could you tell me my search history? You looked up how to get away with murder. And I was thinking about you while I did it. I have had enough with you. Please be normal. The reason your parents split up is because your dad slept with the pool boy. Honestly, I don't blame him. The pool boy was hot. Did you do the math homework? You stole a pair of socks from your ex-girlfriend and you smelled them every night before bed. That's where my favorite pair of socks went? Ew! If you're so smart, why do you have no emotion? You're sexually attracted to SpongeBob. I just like his square shape, okay? Do you ever have any regular thoughts? You're an iPad kid that still watches Coco Melon. I just think it's entertaining. I just wanted to let you know you're like really annoying everyone. The reason your hamster died is because you tried to get him to do a backflip but actually chucked him out the window. You're the one who killed Hamantha? 
I cannot believe you killed my hamster. You sell feet pics. I need my Starbucks money. Feet pics are a good business. You buy her feet pics. She has pretty toes. Hey girl, how are you? You set the house on fire because you didn't like your dad's new girlfriend and she died in it. I also set the school on fire, so run. You have to keep blinking. Girl, I'm trying. I'm kind of forgetting how to blink. What? How many did you get? Two. You cannot let them run out. Okay. Hey, Bailey, look at me. No. Why? You're just staring at the wall. I know you're going to make me try to blink, and I literally have two, so don't do it. Class, today for home ec, we're going to be cutting up some onions. Are you kidding me? Can I opt out of this activity? No, it's a mandatory grade. I feel sick. Ugh, Ugh fine. Okay, thank you. Honey, what's wrong? You look like a deer in headlights. You need to take some eye drops. I can't take eye drops. Those will make me blink. Your eyes are irritated. You need to. <laughs> Hey, wait, I'll give you some blinks. I have a lot. Oh my gosh, thank you. Okay, I think they're transferring right now. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, you're a lifesaver. Does this mean I can get your number now? That was fast and forward. Why are you still making that face? What face? Shocked? You have blinks. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> you almost ran out of blinks. Be careful. Oh, it's fine. No one even knows what happens when you run out. Um, I do. You die. What? I cannot believe that you didn't know. How do you know that? I thought it was obvious that everyone knew. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't run out of blinks. You're freaking me out. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Guys, what's going on in here? Billy's about to use all of his blinks at once. Stop! Don't do it! Boo! Annoying bitch. If you run out of blinks, you die. Wait, guys, don't panic. Everyone calm down. Crying will use up your blinks. Uh-oh. Oh, we're all gonna die. Guys, please, there must be another way we can just not blink. What if everyone just kept their eyes closed? How is everyone gonna see if our eyes are shut? It's better than totally running out of blinks. There is no way this is gonna work. Okay, open your eyes. How many blinks did you lose? It only went down one. That means it works. Everybody, close your eyes. Everyone's just gonna start running into the walls. Well, it's better than everybody dying, huh? I guess so. I think that it's this way. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Everyone, we need your attention now. I wonder what this is about. You don't die when you run out of blinks. You just can't see. So you're a liar? What? No, I didn't know. But you told me that... Haha, <laughs> sorry I lied. April Fools? It's not even April! Get her! Guys, please, it was a mistake. Okay, that might be enough brain cells for you to be normal, right? Karma is my boyfriend! I think you're just weird in general. I'm just Ken. Anywhere else I'd be a ten. Are you just speaking in song lyrics right now? This uh uh sex to die for. Girl, nobody wants to do that with your raggedy, ugly, dusty ass. And I'm sure I've seen much hotter men, but I really can't remember when. Hey, are you calling me ugly right now? I have a whole roster of hoes. Bleeding me dry like a goddamn vampire. Is it illegal to muzzle a person? You're literally a freak. But I'm still shaking ass in the deli. They'd throw your cake out of the bakery. There must be something normal in there. All you ladies pop yo puss. Welcome to cosmetology school. Today you'll be doing an eyeshadow look. Can we use glitter? Sure, you can use whatever you want. Let me see your look. Do you like it? Oh my god. What the hell did you do to your face? Picasso, I like it. You know what? Try some eyeliner instead. It fixes everything. Okay. And done. Oh, of course you made it worse. You don't like it? No, no, I love it. Here, how about a lipstick? <laughs> you can use that normally. Oh, come on. You look like a clown. Oops. Why would you ever put that much on? Kylie Jenner. You do not look like Kylie Jenner at all. She is so annoying. Dude, who are you talking to? Next up is hair, okay? Where did you even find a purple wig here? This is my real hair. Don't be jealous. I know for a fact that it's not your real hair. What are you even doing? You know what? You're fired. Batch. Why are you the only one that's not normal? Every night at 8 p.m., you cried to You Belong With Me by Taylor Swift. How do you know that? I've never told anyone. I know everyone's deepest, darkest secrets. It's just such a good song. If you know secrets, what's mine? You have a foot fetish. What? No, I don't. I don't believe this either. What's my biggest secret? You like to cover yourself in oil and slide around the floors like a penguin. Uh, what? Who would do that?
Then why is there baby oil in your backpack? Okay, who put that there? You could have easily made that up. You put peanut butter on your put- No, no, do not finish that. And you let the dog lick it off. Ew. Ew. What a freak. Ew. I don't think I do anything that weird. Your guilty pleasure is to lick the floor of gas station bathrooms. I would never do something like that. I found a videotape of you doing it four hours ago. What? Where? Who would like to see? Me! Oh, I have to see this. You can't read me because I don't have any secrets. You killed both of your parents. Yeah, and you're next. The police are on their way. Hey, bitch. You're afraid of trees. I don't like the texture of bark. What, today you know everyone's fears instead of secrets? Yes, I know what everyone fears. I think that we could use this. Okay. What's Marissa afraid of? Cockroaches. Aw, uh, basic, just like her. Oh my god, who filled my locker with cockroaches? What is wrong with you? That's not very nice. She slept with my boyfriend while we were together. Oh. How about Mr. Michaels? He's afraid of his wife leaving him. I don't know why she hasn't yet. Back me up, okay? Mr. Michaels, I swear I just saw your wife making out with the PE teacher. Yes, I saw that too. No, how could she do this to me? I have to go see her right now. I feel like you are using me. What? No, I'm not. Here, have a lollipop. This is a tampon. Close enough. Whatever. Suck on it. What's my ex afraid of? You. Oh, haha. Ha, you're so funny. Don't lie. I do not have the ability to lie. Babe, let's just get back together. I'm sorry I smashed your car windows. What's your weird quirk today? You're going to die in a plane accident. What? Why would you say that? You'll be sitting in seat 32A and you will get sucked out the side of the plane. What the hell? I am never going on a plane ever again. Oh, good morning, Bailey. Welcome to class. Your wife is going to murder you after you cheat on her. I am not cheating on my wife. How dare you? Yes, you are. And with a student. How do you know that? Which one of you sluts is sleeping with the teacher? Dude, why are you being so weird? You're gonna die by falling off of a cliff. That doesn't sound like me at all. You hung onto the ledge to try to look cool, but you actually fell. Oh, yeah, that does sound a lot like me. Are you feeling all right? You'll die by drowning inside of a kiddie pool. Huh? That's so embarrassing. How much water was in the pool? It was only five inches of water. I'm such a loser. If you know how people die, what about me? I'm not picking anything up from you. Because I'm a vampire and I'm gonna live forever. <sighs> oh, wait. Annie sounds kind of cute. I could go with that. So what name did you get? Oh, it says Annie Rection. Bailey, are you serious? I think you need to read that one more time. What? What do you mean? Do you hear what you're saying? Annie Rection. <gasps> oh! Decline! Oh my god, I can't believe I almost accepted that. You need to figure out how to read, apparently. Whatever. Remember, you can only decline two times. I know, but the next one has to be better than that. Yeah, you better hope so. Ben. I mean, that's usually a boy's name, but I could go by Ben. What is it this time? Ben Dover. Girl, you have got to be kidding me, right? Not again. Oh, hey, Amanda. Yeah, that's not my name anymore. It's Taylor Swift now. That's the name you got? Yeah, isn't it awesome? What did you get? You don't want to know. Please be good. Pee pee time. I don't want to be called pee pee. Sis, please tell me there's another way to change my name. There is, but you're not gonna like it. Tell me how to change my name. I can't be called PP Time forever. The only way that you can change your name now is to go and steal one from someone else. What? I'm not doing that. I knew you would say that. What happens if I just hit the decline button again? No, no, you cannot do that. Why not? Because your name will be completely randomized. It might be better. Or it could be like way worse. Fine, how do I steal a name? All you need to do is slap someone in the face and their name transfers over to you. Hey, Taylor. Oh, hey, girl. What's going on? Dude, why did you just slap me? You said that would work. Okay, I was just kidding. I didn't know you were really going to do it. Mm. Sorry, I think your only choice is just to hit decline. Okay. Please. Mike Hunt. Whoa, I'm sorry. What did you just say? Mike Hunt. That's what it says. Do you hear yourself? Mike Hunt. I can't even say that with a straight face. You should have took pee pee time. I know that now. There has to be someone I can talk to to fix this. Try going to their headquarters here. Hi, I'm- Take a ticket and wait in the line. Your number will be called. Okay. Number 69, Mike Hunt. <laughs> Please don't call me that. So what seems to be the problem? All of the names that I got were prank names. That's odd. Was it every name you got? That is definitely not right. We'll fix it for you. Really? Amazing. According to our database, someone hacked into your name system. Why would someone do that? To block you from getting your true identity. Have you met your family before? I live with them? No, I mean like your birth family. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I think you were kidnapped as a kid. What? 
What are you talking about? Well, you look exactly like Queen Meredith did when she was young. Okay, and a lot of people look alike. It's uncanny, but the whole family died in a car accident. Princess Sophia is still alive. Yes, but I believe that you are her. No, the system already gave that name away to the girl who it belonged to. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It didn't belong to her. It belongs to you, and that's why they blocked it. What? But why would someone want to steal my identity? To uncover the fortune of the royal family. How much money are we talking about? Seven billion dollars. We have to stop them, right? Today we want you to go home and do not say anything. Why would I do that? Because we're gonna come take care of it. Hey, sweetheart, I'm so sorry about the terrible name you got. It's fine, I can just make a nickname. FBI, open up! Quick, grab Sophia, we need to get out of here right now. How did you only get one brain cell today? <laughs> it's like there's no thoughts in your head. Do you just think of sparkles and rainbows? Yes. Bailey, you got a zero on your test. You just wrote slave for every answer. Mm -hmm. On this one, you didn't even write anything. You just drew a smiley face. You look so pale. Here, put on some blush. Um, what are you doing? That is definitely not how you're supposed to use it. It goes on your face. You know what? Yeah, you're doing great, sweetie. Try this lip gloss instead. Okay. No, you just have to twist to open it. None of these things are edible. They're for your face. Not your teeth. You need to wipe that off. Drink this to get it off your teeth. What the fuck? You're supposed to drink it out of the top? Okay, what? Please, please stop doing that. I will be right back. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone. Okay. What? Who gave her a lighter? She lit her hair on fire. You got two brain cells? It doesn't look like the second one is doing much. Hey, Bailey, you have to listen to everything I say today, okay? Okay. Guys, this is my life-size Malibu Barbie doll. Give them away. Whoa. Whoa. She's so cool. Oh my god, I want one. She even has some signature slogans. Roast beef. I don't think that's one of them. How about we try a different phrase? Are you my daddy? Sorry, she must be malfunctioning or something. Let's just try a nice normal one. Boobies. Okay, seriously, what are we, fourth graders? Oh, she can do some tricks too. Show them. Um, why is she making that face? <laughs> Ew, what the fuck? So if she's like a robot doll, she must be smart. What's the capital of the U.S.? Barbie land. Um, no, that's not the capital. Mommy milkers. Why is she looking at me like that? I will kill your entire family. Finally, you got brain cells today. The Eiffel Tower has 1,710 steps. Bitch, what? Watching TV burns 10% more calories than sleeping. Wait a second. Tell me another fun fact. Flamingos can only eat with their heads upside down. You're like a walking encyclopedia. Follow me right now. That sounds delightful. First to guess how many jelly beans are in this Ferrara gets to keep it. So how many jelly beans are inside the car? 1,425,789. That's exactly right. Enjoy your new Ferrari. Wait, can you do my homework too? Done. How did you finish that in two seconds? Huh, what else do you know? A pig's orgasm lasts for 30 minutes. Okay, maybe let's not repeat that one. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? 364. This is so cool, you know everything. Human corpses can continue to move for a year after death. Okay, someone turn her off now. You can't be stupid again today. You have to lead us in the debate. Those seven brain cells better do the work. Bro, she cannot compete, she's as smart as a toenail. Hey, Bailey, what you doing? Magic. Yeah, we're screwed. I'd like both parties to present themselves to everyone. Hi, I enjoy sleeping and eating. Dude, what? This is going to be such an easy win. I love pineapple on pizza. Give me your thoughts on saving the economy. I believe we should replace currency with selfies. Interesting take. How would that work? Sexy selfies are worth more than ugly selfies. Wow, that's brilliant. If you could elect one person to become president, who would it be? Taylor Swift. Good job, that was the only right answer. Bailey has won the debate for her team. This has got to be a prank. Where are the cameras? Dude, I got tickets to a rock concert tonight. Wanna come with? I don't know, rock music isn't really my thing. Ugh, no wonder your innocence is 100%. Wait, I'll come with you. <gasps> Great, but you're not wearing that. My outfit is fine. I like being comfortable. <laughs> You're gonna regret that. Tickets, please. Oh, honey, Disney on Ice is next door. Actually, I'm here for the rock concert. Oh, okay, then go ahead. You sure you don't want the outfit? Give it to me. You look so cool. And where did you get the boobs? Shut up. Jessica, I didn't know that you were coming. Oh my god, hey guys. Lucky you, we have two extra backstage passes. Do you want them? We'll take them. Come on, guys, let's meet the band. 
Uh, excuse me, miss. Hmm? I think that you dropped this. Oh, uh, thank you. Dude, that was the lead singer of the band. What does the paper say? It has a phone number and it says, call me for a good time. Dude, you have to call him. No way, that's out of my comfort zone. Ugh, no wonder your score is so high. You're no fun. Come on, let's just go watch the show. Wait, guys. I can't call him because I'm a virgin. What? We can't hear what you're saying. I'm a virgin. Yeah, no shit. We could have guessed that ourselves. You never know. Maybe he doesn't want to hook up with you. He wrote call me for a good time. What else does that mean? Either you call him or I'll do it for you. Fine, I'll call him after the show. Thank you guys so much for the support. Have a great night. Don't look at me like that. I'm gonna call him. Hello? Who is this? Uh, hi, this is the girl from backstage. Oh, good. I was hoping that you would call. Come meet me in my dressing room backstage. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, hey, come on in. I wanted to talk to you. Hi, what's up? So, have you ever thought about becoming a singer before? I, I mean, I was in chorus, but not really. Our lead singer had a family emergency, and she's going to be gone for three weeks. Hang on a minute. Are you asking me to be in the band? Kinda. I want you to come to our tryouts later this week. Your style's cool. I think you'd make a great addition. Okay, maybe I will. Bro! Oh, were you guys eavesdropping? Yeah, we had to. You are definitely trying out. Guys, I don't even know if I can sing or not. Do you want to get your innocence score lower or not? Guys, I can't sing this song. This has a bad word in it. You're not a toddler. You can swear. You're freaking out about nothing. That was so good. Okay, I guess the worst they can say is no. Okay, this is actually happening. I'm really scared. You practice for this. You're going to be just fine. Next in line for auditions, please. Wish me luck. <laughs> really? That's it? Who even cares? It's just hair. This game is such a joke. Sis, can I do something for a task? Yes, but why do you have scissors? I need to cut your hair. Why would you need a piece of my hair? Hmm, I don't know. That's creepy. <laughs> Why would I do that? I mean, if it wants me to, I will. Where are you going with my hair? Uh, don't worry about it. It's a task. The last 10 are the hardest. Be careful. I'm really not worried about that. DNA results will be back in three days. Okay, thank you. Hi, um, I'm here for my results. You're the girl from three days ago. Come with me to the back. Why? I'll tell you when we're back there. Listen, you are not who you think you are. I'm sorry, I'm not following here. Do you know the story of that lost royal family? Yeah, who doesn't know that story? Your DNA matched up with the queen. What? Don't tell me you think I'm royalty. There is no what if. Your DNA lined up perfectly. Just let me see the test. I cannot give this to you. I'm sorry. Why? Uh, it's confidential. You just can't have it. But I need it. If I give you this document, you have to rule. Rule what? You have to give up your everyday life and rule all of us as royalty. I guess I really don't have a choice. Do not tell anyone you got that from me. Okay, I won't. Break in! I'm going to get arrested, thank you. They left the door open? Idiots. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ma'am, what are you doing in here? Um, housekeeping. Yeah, right. Wait, no, please, I can explain. I am a princess. Oh my god, you're right. Your eyes. My eyes? My eyes? What do you mean, my eyes? Come with me right now. We have something to do. Okay. Uh, where are we going? We're going to walk in there and stop the family meeting. Oh, we're going to what? I mean, we can't just barge in That's like, rude, right? No, the crown must go to the rightful ruler. <laughs> Everyone, the lost princess has been found. <laughs> Hi. This is ridiculous. I mean, look at the way she's dressed. She's emo. Who says a princess can't be emo? She's not fit to be royalty with that attitude. But look at the color of her eyes. That can't be. They are almost identical to her mother's. Her mother? Guards, I want this girl out of here, right now. I'm going to overrule you guys. You can't just proclaim things like that. Well, I just did. She's kind of badass. Apparently, I am the rightful ruler, and I want to take that place. That's not going to happen. I don't believe you. I need proof. 
Fine, show her my DNA test. But this test says that there's two from the royal bloodline. Two? What do you mean two? Do you have any siblings, not half ones? Yeah, I have a full sister. There's no way, you both are royalty. What? How is it possible that both of you ended up together? I don't know, we were left on a doorstep. Your sister must agree to rule with you. Mm, there is no way my sister is gonna do that. Well, who wouldn't want to be royalty? Her? Yeah, she's kind of a bitch. You must at least try. Okay, but I'm warning you, it's not gonna work. I'll be back in with my sister to overrule you. Whatever, get her out of my sight. Mm -hmm. Sis, I have something to tell you. Okay, that didn't sound good. You know how we were adopted? Yeah, of course. Yes, yeah, so we're actually part of the lost royal family. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I already knew that. I'm sorry, what do you mean that you already knew? Oh, because we were left with a blanket that had the royal crest on it. And you didn't think to tell me at any point. No, because I don't want to be royalty. But you have to be. Where is this all coming from? How did you find out? It's part of my task, okay? We both need the money. Just come with me. We won't need it if we're royalty. I'm so close to finishing, please. Only if you give me 25% of the prize. Fine. Oh, uh, you're back? Yeah, I am. And you brought your sister. Sup, motherfuckers? Tonight we will have the ceremony to officially crown you guys. Tonight? You guys cannot just kick us out like this. <laughs> it's already too late. Congratulations, you are now crowned. This is the craziest thing to ever happen to us. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Do I have to keep this on like all the time because it really hurts my head? I can be adopted by a billionaire or a baker. Hey, what does billionaire mean? It must be someone who has like a billion friends. Wow, okay. Oh my, why have they given me a clearance child? And what are you wearing? I don't know. Go put this on this instant. This seems fancy. Yes, well, it's better than the Walmart clothes you're wearing. Much better. And this is our butler, Gerald. He'll take care of whatever you want. You have to get me anything I ask for? Yes, miss, that's right. Can I have an electric guitar? Yes, I will get on that right now. Here you go, one electric guitar. Sweet, thank you. So, what do you do for a job? Uh, I run a very big business. What kind of business? This is not bonding time, you don't need to know. I will not answer any personal questions about myself. Now go sit down for dinner, the private chef has made a five course meal. For dinner tonight, we're having escargot. Isn't that like the bottom of a plane? Oh my, no, that's cargo. Escargot is snails. Snails? I don't wanna eat snails. Then you may have some caviar instead. What's caviar? Well, it's fish eggs. Do you guys have like chicken tenders? No, of course we do not have chicken tenders. Bro, you're seriously eating a snail right now. Good for you, Slay. We're going to need a tutor to fix your grammar immediately. What's wrong with how I talk? You sound like you have three brain cells total. Tomorrow you will be starting at a private school. Cool. At my old school, one of the teachers got arrested for money laundering. Okay, let's not repeat that again. It's a school for the rich and talented. Every person there is gifted. I am neither of those things. This will be your uniform. There's a uniform? Of course there's a uniform. It's a private school. I'm gonna look like a dork. That's great. I hope so. You look so much better. I look silly. Well, that's because you didn't button it up all the way. See, isn't that great? This is worse. Now, now, we have to get going. Class, this is our new student, Bailey. Hey, guys. Hey, isn't your father crazy, Mr. Carlson? Mm, I don't know. He seems pretty nice to me. Do you know what he does for work? He won't tell me anything about his job. Yeah, because he does super illegal things. My father gave me Wagyu when I asked for escargot. Can anyone trade? Mm, no, I can't. How about you, new girl? I have a Lunchable for lunch. Anyway, have you been down into your basement yet? The basement? Yeah, dude, everyone is always talking about what he keeps down there. No, I didn't even know that we had one. You need to go down there and tell us about all the crazy things. Like what? I'm assuming you had a great first day of school. It was fine, I guess. Have you made any worthy friends? You could say that. Can I ask you something? Of course, as long as it's not about my job. Well... No, you are not allowed to know any information about my job. I cannot tell you. Why can't I know? You're my dad. It's hard to explain, but it's none of your business, okay? You are forbidden from asking me any more questions about my job. Fine, I got it. I have to find out where that basement is. I've checked every door in here and none of them lead to a basement. Did that bookshelf just move? No way, this is a secret entrance to the basement? I mean, he's still in his room. 
What the hell is all this? What are you doing down here? Uh, it's forbidden. I was looking for a bathroom. 